All right, class, we're going to talk about color harmony today because your movement project, you're going to use four different color harmonies to see the difference in how they react to each other or how each one um, reacts differently, um, painted with different colors. All right, so there are four types of color harmony. There's complementary, so we know a little bit about this. We know um, that complementary colors, when blended together, get muted. We also know that when complementary colors um, are side by side, they are really bright and intense. So lots of advertisers use like blue and orange, for example, um, to create grab attention. Split complementary, a base color plus two colors adjacent to the complement. So this is not so stark. Uh, triad are three colors evenly spaced and analogous are colors next to each other on the color wheel. The complementary um, <clears throat> is the high is very high contrast so it creates vibrancy uh, especially if the color is at full saturation. Um, this color scheme can become too jarring if not careful. Sometimes it's just like whoa what am I looking at it's so bright. Uh, so such contrast um, again the colors are crossed from the color wear so this example is red and green you can have um, violet and yellow blue violet and yellow orange um, just any colors across directly across from each other on the color wheel. here's an example by Van Gogh the, so there's a lot of colors in this but the two main colors are red and green and and then there's a little bit of violet and yellow so he used two complementary uh, things but um, so we're um, so in this image if you look at it it's to me um, to me it feels a little bit nauseating like it, everyone looks like a little bit sick like they drank too much I always think of it as like the end of the night when uh, everyone's going to need to get going soon and they drink too much and uh, the fun has been over and now it's on it's not so fun anymore that's how I f and I feel like the green and red and really kind of help uh, make me kind of feel especially that green is like like a gross seafoam green all right let's see split complementary is a variation of the complementary scheme. It has the same contrast, but less tension. So if you some, if you want something with a lot of contrast, but a little bit less tension, then you use split complementary. So you see here, instead of red and green, you do red or green and red violet and green and uh, uh, red orange. Um, so instead of green and red, green and red violet, green and red orange. This could be the same. We could do, say we do blue and orange then you could do uh, blue and orange uh, blue green and <clears throat> blue and orange or blue and orange and then you would have blue violet and blue green so instead of blue and orange you'd be orange and blue violet orange and blue green or it could be blue and red orange blue and yellow orange. Here's an example of that. So we have a, red, a lot of red orange through here and that would be red orange with some blue violet, a little bit blue, a little bit violet and blue green. Let's see, what red orange? Oh, that would, I think. It's more orange than red orange. Um, but you could also do a yellow orange. Let's see if there's yellow orange. Then we have like a blue violet and yellow orange, blue violet, and a blue, which kind of works. But it's more orange and blue violet than blue green. So again, when you're doing split comp complementary, you're not. So in our assignment, I'll show you this when I demo, you do want to really stick to the to the schemes just to get used to the schemes, but artists aren't using them everywhere. So this the 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 color
colors in here aren't perfect, right? There's there's oranges, and sometimes they get a little bit yellow, and sometimes they get a little red, but the overall idea is there. Um, because if you stick to it, you would lose a big range of color. Okay, so triad is also a vibrant color harmony. And to be successful, one color dominates and the others are accents. So in this case, we have violet, orange, and green. Violet, orange, and green. So triad is, the colors are evenly spaced. So if you look, there's three colors in between each. One, two, three, color. One, two, three, color. One, two, three, color. So you could do any, any, right? So if you do blue, red, and yellow, you could do blue, red, and yellow two um, or any of them as long as they're spaced three apart and then you choose the next color. Here's an example of green, uh, green, orange, and violet. Again, the colors aren't exactly green and exactly orange and exactly violet because the art, but those are the main feelings of the colors. The artist is allowing themselves a little bit bigger range. It's hard hard to find images that are perfectly set into that range. And then analogous. So this creates a serene and comfortable color scheme. It's usually found in nature, so it's pleasing to the eye. It can lack in contrast. So that's the biggest thing you have to worry about with analogous is lacking in contrast. And you want to use one color to dominate and then other colors and that would be three or four to as an accent. So analogous is just colors next to each other, up to four next to each other. So three or four colors next to each other. No, um, no skipping colors and no uh, more, not more than four. So say you wanted to do yellow, orange, you could go yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, and that would be it. Here's a nice example of that. So he's doing yellow green to blue green and all the ranges in between. This is not your assignment. Um, I wanted to show something about analogous, how when you pick two colors, all the colors that mix in between become analogous, usually, not always. So in this case, if you picked blue, to yellow green. If you add yellow green to blue, you'll get a lot of range in between here, and any of that range is okay. So if that doesn't work with triad, right? So with triad, you can't mix the green and violet together. You're, that wouldn't be part of the color scheme. But with analogous, since they're all close together, um, if you mix them together, in the right area. So if you mix blue with blue green, anything in between still counts as part of your analogous. I'll talk more about that in the demo. All right, see you in a little bit.